Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the course problem, Schrodinger smiley. And let's read the problem statement. I will explain quickly. So what we are given, we are given a still that consisting of columns, right parenthesis and left parenthesis. And we have to determine the total number of smileys. And it consists of both smileys and non-smileys. Smileys are the ones between two columns, there must be a right parenthesis. Okay, so then it will be a smiley, otherwise it, it will not be a smiley. So we have to solve this problem. And how can we solve this problem? Let's see some example. So in this case, there is two columns and in between them, there is a left parenthesis, but we need right parenthesis. So answer will be zero here. So in second case, we have two parentheses, conjugative parentheses, sorry, two conjugative columns. So that is a must condition that in between two columns, there must be a right parenthesis. Then it calls be a smiley, otherwise it will not be a smiley. So here zero for first two occurrences. Then this parent, this column and this column. So in between them, we have three right parentheses. So we will count as one. Okay, that will be a smiley. And after this column, we don't have anything to end with the column. And also one more thing that there is a left parenthesis. We can't calculate smiley with the left parenthesis. We need right parenthesis. So here it will be a zero again. So answer will be here one. Okay. So in this case, first parenthesis first column and the second column. In between them, there is two right parentheses. So one will be counted, smiley will be counted. And then for these two, it is also one right parenthesis. So one will be counted. For third one, in between them, we have one more thing, the left parenthesis, two left more, two left parentheses. So we can't calculate this, okay? So it will be a zero. So overall answer will be two here. So this is the answer. And how can we approach to solve this problem? So what we can do, let's iterate uh, this string from i equal to zero to i less than n. Make a while loop, okay? Make a while loop and run iterate. And then if you found column, if s of i column, this thing. So then inside this if, we will declare j, that will be i plus one, okay? Then we will again run a while loop, j less than n, Okay, and in this, we will continue j plus plus till we have s of j equal to right parenthesis. Till we have right parenthesis, we will continue j plus plus. Okay. So, if we encounter any left parenthesis, so else if, if we encountered any left parenthesis, this they will break. Okay. And now the final condition for calculating answer. So if we have encountered with column again, so if we encountered column again. So what we will do, we will check if s of j minus 1, it must be equal to right parenthesis. Why? Because if we have two conjugative columns, then we can't, then we can't count this as an answer. That's why we are handling this condition here. And we will do answer plus plus. Okay. 
and behind this we will do initialize i equal to j minus 1 okay and break the loop and in the end of this you have to do i plus plus otherwise you will be in infinite loop and also during the break time here here you are breaking so before breaking just do i equal to k minus 1 okay that is the must condition hope you understand the solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you